Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jessica McDonald. I'm a knitting pattern designer and today I'm going to show you how to pick up stitches for a neckline. This, it doesn't quite all fit in frame, but this is the neckline for my silver birch sweater. I've just joined the shoulders and now it's time to pick up the stitches for the crew neckline. When you're going to pick up stitches, the first thing you need to do is look at the pattern and look at what advice they give you. There are different rates at which you will pick up stitches. Sometimes you'll pick up a stitch in every single stitch. Sometimes it will be two out of every three, three of out of every four. There will be some, some ratio of stitches that the designer will want you to pick up. So make sure you look at your pattern and see what the designer said to do. Here on this neckline, since we're going to be coming from the outside and coming in. We're gonna pick up two out of every three stitches all the way around, um, including these areas here where you're picking up in a bound off edge and the vertical areas where you're picking up in two rows. The advice pick up two out of every three stitches also applies to rows. So if you're working on an area where you're picking up into rows, like here, you would pick up two, up, two out of every three rows. In here it's two out of every three stitches, but it's just generally referred to as two out of every three stitches for ease of explaining things. So you'll need your needle. This is, oh, this is too big. Hang on. I don't know why I grabbed my big one. You'll need the size needle you're gonna work your neckline on. This is a US size three needle that I'm gonna work my neckline on. And you might also find it helpful to have a crochet hook. This one's a little bit big for this job, but I don't have a smaller one. You'd ideally want to use one that's a little bit smaller than your knitting needle gauge. So we're gonna start over here on the back. Choose a place to start that is gonna be the least visible place. So this is the back. I'm gonna start over here towards a shoulder. You can see I'm gonna pick up into this line and then around this curve up over top of the shoulder, then down to the front. So with the right side facing you, you're gonna take your yarn, leave a, a little end for weaving in later. Then you're going to look at your bound off edge. Do you see all those little V's from your bound off stitches? You're going to pick up into that and you're gonna grab both legs of that V. Let me focus this again. There, now you can see that better. You can see I've got both legs of that V on top of my stitch. Make sure you pick up both legs. If you grab only one leg, it's gonna pull on that one strand of yarn and very easily make a hole there, either by breaking that strand of yarn or just by stretching it out. So you've got your needle inserted, then just make a little loop, put it over top of your needle and draw it through. Then we're having, put the tail off to the side with your working yarn. You're gonna move to the left. So I picked up one there. I'm gonna pick up the very next one. I picked up two, since I'm doing two out of every three, I'm going to skip over the third and go into the fourth. I picked up two, now I'm gonna skip the third. The crochet hook is useful because sometimes when you're picking up stitches into a bound off edge, these stitches can be kind of tight and hard to pull your yarn through. So you can just use your crochet hook and insert it. So there's my third, we're skipping that one, we're coming over to this one over here. You can just insert that, grab your yarn, pull up a loop, and then slide it onto your needle. And that can make it a little bit easier if you're working in an area that's tight where it's hard to pull the yarn through with just your knitting needle. Eee. I prefer to do it just with my knitting needle even if it takes me multiple tries to get a stitch. So now we've come away from the bound off stitches and now we're working into the decreased stitches. You can see that the decreases run along here and then we're picking up into rows. So you can turn this out and you can see the little V's from that very last stitch. 
you want to pick up both legs of those v's just like the the bound off stitches we were working on so you you see here this this line right here this line of stitches that's my decrease stitches and then over here is my outer stitch and it kind of rolls over so you're only it looks like you're only picking up one leg but when you put it through you've got the whole stitch on there's two two legs on there which is pretty impossible to see but there's two legs on there so you've got both legs of that stitch grab your yarn pick up the next one two skip the third you can see where the next stitch is because you can see this little hole in here. Here's the next stitch. We're skipping that. Let me make sure this is focused. Doesn't really want to focus at this close range. You can see I'm in that stitch. There's a little hole there for the next one, but I'm skipping over that and you can see the ladder between the stitches. Not very well in camera, but in person you can see the little ladder between the stitches and that helps you to count your stitches. When you're working in rows, they're not going to be all uniform. Some are going to be taller, some are going to be shorter. It's just how tight you pulled that stitch when you started or ended that row. So just continue working, picking up two out of every three stitches, even if they're not all a super uniform size. This one is tricky. There we go, we got it. And that is how you pick up stitches for a neckline. Hopefully that helps you out. If you have any questions about it, pop them in the comment section below and I will be sure to come and answer them. And please subscribe to my channel so you can see all of my tutorials and my knitting podcast videos. Happy knitting!